So compound interest. Um, Okay, we're going to talk about a simple interest problem, which you're going to have in your homework today, and we're going to talk about a compound interest, interest problem, which you'll have at least one in your homework today. Uh, so let's do the simple interest first. This is the formula for simple interest. I want to make sure that we, we know it, you're familiar with it, you're comfortable with it, um, and you know kind of what to expect and where to plug the numbers in. So here's how it works for simple interest. The formula is uh, the interest that's, uh, that you're going to accumulate, the amount, will be equal to uh, the principal times the rate times the time, time frame. Okay? So that's what you're going to have in your problems. Now, there's a couple things I'm going to ask you to do when you have your homework problems. Um, um, so that'll be a little bit slightly different than what the book is going to ask for. Uh, because I want to make sure that it, it's more practical. Because right now, if you're just to calculate this, it's an easy thing. You just type in the calculator and you're done. But I want you to go like one or two steps further. All right. For how this works, let's talk about these. What does the P stand for? Do you remember? Um. The P stand for that we talked about the last couple days. That's what you got. Yeah, the principal amount. Um, the principal amount is the amount of money that you're borrowing, right? Uh, so it's the initial amount. It's the, you know, what your loan is for. So if you're taking a loan out for, uh, you know, a car, maybe that's the, the amount that you're going to be borrowing. What does the R stand for? The annual interest rate. Yeah, the interest rate. It's an interest rate that you're going to be uh, charged annual interest rate, whatever you have. Okay? And then T. The number of years. Yeah. years. Exactly. This, this is the big thing today. This is the number of years you're going. If they don't give you years, you have to make sure that number is calculated into years, and I'll explain that. That's what my second example is going to be. These are the three numbers, right? So let's make them an amount. So somebody give me the amount of money that we're going to borrow. Uh, uh, 5000 Five thousand. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good to set amount, right? So we're gonna borrow five grand. Right? That's gonna be the car that we're gonna purchase. Okay? We're gonna have an interest rate. Let's say my interest rate in this particular problem, let's say it's four percent. So so the initial amount we're borrowing is the five thousand. Four percent. How do I write that as a decimal? Uh zero point zero four. Okay, good. That is your interest rate. This represents your four percent. You gotta make sure that that's in a decimal. Okay? And then we're going to take it times time. Now, how many years do we want to pay it off? Maximum for car loan is six years. Three. Three years? Okay. We're going to go three years. So that's in years, right? So this is years. This is the uh, this is the amount that you're borrowing, the initial amount for the loan. And what this will do, if you, if you calculate these, where you multiply these three numbers together, what this will give you is the amount of interest you're going to pay the bank. It's just the extra charge. That's all we're calculating here. Okay, so take 5,000 times 0 0.04 times 3. What do we get? 600. 600 bucks. 600 even? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. That is not your total loan. That is just the amount you're going to have to pay the bank to take this loan out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the overall price you're going to have to pay, like the total in the end, that you're going to pay for this car, total, you're going to pay the $5,000 for the car plus the amount of interest that the bank, the bank charged you. Okay? Um, so that number is going to be your $5,600. So that, does that make sense? That, you're going to have to find that. Okay, this is the first thing you have to do. You have to figure out, you know, take the amount times the percent times the years. That gives you how much the bank's going to charge you in interest. And then you have to add to your total. That is something that the, the, the book will not ask you to do. I am asking you to figure that out. What your total is, you're going to pay for that vehicle or whatever that loan is. Okay, now, the last thing you're going to have to do. How many months are you going to pay this back? Um, 36. We 36 months, because we went up three years. There's 12 months in a year, so we're going for 36 years. Take this number, the, the 5,600 bucks, divide it by 36. Is that you went for three years, 36 months, right? Mm -hmm. yep. This will this will be your monthly payment. I want to know what that number is. 165.55. That number is your monthly payment. So 
So if you're going to buy your car, your $5,000 car, and you're going to pay it off in three years, you have to pay $155 a month. That's not including, you know, the taxes and, you know, the insurance and the gas. That's just what you have to pay the bank to make sure that you can keep that car. Now, keep it road legal, that's a completely different situation. But that's what you're going to have to pay the bank. That's something I expect you to be able to do in your homework today. So you have to be able to calculate what the interest is using this, this formula. That's the interest that you have to your total. You've added it to your loan. You divide by how many months they ask you to pay it off. So if it's telling you years, you're going to have to convert that to months. Okay, so that might be something tricky you're going to have to do. Okay, does that number make sense? Okay. Does everyone have that primary now? Yep. Okay. Now, we're going to modify it. Now, this is the second example I said I wanted to talk about. What happens when they don't give you years? Let's say the number they give you here, let's say that they tell me that I want to pay off this loan, and let's say I'm going to go $8,000 loan. Okay. So I'm going $1,000 loan at 4%, so $1,000. But now we're not going to pay it off in years. I'm going to pay it off in months. I want to go eight months. That's what I want to pay it off. I don't want to pay it off in a year. I don't want to pay it off in two years or three years. I want to pay it off in eight months. And again, you can take out a loan for that. Your bank could do that. They could go, you know, half a year, which is six months, or you know, eight months. But when you use this formula, this formula right here, you have to make sure you're doing your loan amount, your interest rate, whatever they tell you, in, in as a decimal. And then this number has to be in years. Now, do you agree that that number is not in years? Yes. You have to convert it. So whatever they tell you in months, let's say, divide that by 12. Because there is 12 months in a year, right? Yeah. Take that number, divide by 12. It'll be a decimal. It's a decimal of a year. 0 0.66. Okay. So this number is 0 0.6 repeating. <clears throat> That's, it's, it's basically 2 thirds of a year. It's 0 0.6 repeating. Because okay. remember, when you use this formula, when you do this formula, this number has to be in terms of years. So if they give you months, you have to divide it by 12. I forgot that. Now, let's do this multi uh, Let's do this problem. 1,000 times 0.4 times 0.6. This is the amount of money that you're going to pay for the interest. Uh, uh, 26.64. Twenty-six dollars and sixty-four cents, probably. Okay. All right. So twenty-six bucks. Because here's the thing. That's not a lot of interest. Okay, Twenty twenty-six bucks. The reason why? It's not going a couple of years. It's only going not even a full year. You didn't you didn't build up a lot of charge. They the banks appreciate when you don't take loans out for a long period of time. So they're rewarding you. You don't have to pay as much charge. So a thousand dollar car, you only have to pay an extra twenty-six bucks to get that car right now for that loan. Dang. Not bad, right? Now, how do we find the total? Are you going to add it to the loan? Exactly. So you got to take whatever that, that charge was. So we had a $1,000 loan. You have to add in your $26.64, right? So that is $1,026.64. Okay? So that's my total loan that I'm going to have to pay the bank back. Now, I want to know what is my monthly <coughs> payment going to be? How do I find that? Um, how do you find monthly payments? Don't you just divide by two You divide by the months. Oh, How many okay. months? So variegated months. So divide by eight. Yep. So we're taking this thousand dollar or one thousand uh, twenty-six point six four. We're going to divide by eight months because that's how many months you're going to pay it back. One hundred twenty-eight point three three. Point three three. <laughs> so you're paying one hundred twenty-eight bucks a month for that thousand dollar car. Okay. Not bad. And again, that's, that's kind of the benefit of when they tell you months. It's exactly the number you have to divide by. In the very end, you find your monthly payment. The problem is, it's that first initial thing, where you have to convert that months into a certain years, the 0.6 number. That's the part you have to do on your own. Because this formula requires years. Does that make sense? I can give you two completely different problems. I know for a fact you're going to have like three problems that are like that, where you have to convert. You have to convert to years. The other ones um, where they, they give you the number of years, so it should be easier. Okay. All right. 
Questions, comments about this type of problem? Nope. Super easy, especially if you're paying attention, you have these written down. They look identical to this. Now, the last thing we have to do is talking about compound interest. Now, we talked about yesterday was doing a compound interest problem where um, you you uh, use your credit card and you charge something. I think we did I think we did the washing machine yesterday. We talked about what, like what the charges would be if you took out a small loan like this versus to using your credit card to pay it off. Well, today you're going to have to figure out when you pay that thing off. And so this is the this is the part where we'll, I'm going to show you how the start of it is, and you have to finish this problem. Okay, so and I will provide you grid paper so that you can put the numbers in very clean. Okay, so um, in fact, yeah, I'll print it out when you guys are working. But what it's going to look like, so this is going to be the amount that you're borrowing to to buy an item, right? So you're going to purchase an item. So this will be the amount you're going to borrow, right? You're going to have some financial charges and some interest charge. So it's so it's interest. You're going to have your total when you add the interest in. You're going to make your monthly payment. And now you have your new balance. These are going to be on the chart, so it's going to look like this. And you're going to have to fill in this chart and whittle your way down until you pay off your credit card. Okay? So now, the credit card statement we're going to do, we're going to buy a brand new MacBook with a credit card, okay? Um, MacBooks, as of today, they went down in price. They're $1,284 today. So you're going to borrow $1,284. You get a brand new MacBook Pro, 13-inch MacBook. They went down in price a little bit today. Okay, so we're going to buy a MacBook on a credit card. Now, what did we talk about yesterday? What was the financial charge on credit cards? Because it wasn't like a home loan or a small loan. It wasn't a 4%. Well, no, it was way higher than that. Credit cards would have a way higher percent. It's higher than that. 25. It was 24. Oh, it's 24 percent interest. Okay, now here's the thing. We're not going to use 24 percent, and that's not the number you're going to use. Uh, and I'll have this number on the on the chart. What you're going to do is that you have to realize credit cards charge you this interest, right? 12 times a month. So 12 times. So what I need you to do right now: take 24, divide by 12. Probably don't need to do that. Oh, that's good. All right. So they're charging you two percent per month. Okay. So I'm going to put that number right here. This is the number you're going to use. Two percent per month. That's going to be the same number the whole time you're going to do today. Now, that's that's the new credit card rate. Right. It used to be twenty one percent. That's when you probably need to, you need to calculate twenty one divided by twelve. But now credit cards are always twenty four percent. So we took that number. We divided by twelve because they're charging you per month. So this is the number you're going to do. So this is 2%. How do you write 2% as a decimal? 0 0.02. 0 0.02, right? 0 0.02. You're going to take that number, 0 0.02, and you're going to take it times the 1,084. Okay. So that's what you're going to do to start. Whatever this amount is, you're going to take it times 0 0.02. Okay. And now here's the thing. I, I need to know what that number is. So you, when you take it times 0 0.02, what do you get? Uh, 25.60. <coughs> I mean, 6.8. 6.8, okay. <clears throat> that number is the interest that's being charged to your credit card. Okay? So, so the idea is that it was a $1,200 MacBook. You bought it, let's say you bought it right now, uh, it's March, right? So we bought it in March, so we charged the MacBook to our credit card. You didn't make your monthly payment until April. Okay, your first payment in April. That's the money they charged you on your credit card. So now it's not a it's not a twelve hundred dollar MacBook. You have to add in this charge. So take this number, this number in red, add in your financial charge. So this is now April first. What is the number reading? Um, one thousand three hundred nine point six eight. Say it again. You okay. added the 2568 to this? Yeah. What do you get? It should be 1300 in theory. Unless I'm wrong. Is it $1,200? I'm like, it's $1,309.58. Yeah, 68 cents. 68 cents. All right. 
I was gonna say, like, it should I be, mine. yeah, it should be over the, you should be over the, uh, the 300 mark now. So 1,300. That is what your MacBook charge now is on your credit card April 1st, because you didn't make your monthly payment. If you would have paid off your MacBook at the end of the month, you wouldn't have had any charge. You would have just paid the 1,284. But you waited till April 1st. Boom. That's what they charged you. 25 bucks. Now you're gonna. Now you decide. Like you look at your credit card and go, "Oh, I forgot to pay off the MacBook. I'm gonna make my minimum payment. Minimum, because every credit card has a minimum payment, right? Um, it just depends on how much you borrow and what your credit line is, and they kind of establish what your minimum payment is. My minimum payment on this credit card is gonna be eighty-eight dollars. Okay, eighty-eight dollars. So that is gonna be your payment. You're going to pay $88 for your credit card this month, April 1st, I should say. So, what is the new balance after you make your credit card? When you make your payment? $221. $21, and any change? Uh, $68. $68, thank you. That is your new balance. Did, is your credit card, is your uh, MacBook paid off? No. No, you only paid $88. In fact, you didn't even make $88 on that card because they charged you 25 bucks. Okay? So did you just minus the ABA and the yeah. number? Yeah, you just took what this number is, subtract ABA. Oh. Okay. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, that number, whatever your balance is, mm -hmm. carries to the next line. This is now April 1st, right? You made your credit card payment, $88. This is now April 1st. What happens at the end of the month? So, Interest. Interest. 2%. So whatever this balance is, you have to take times 0.2. I want to know what that number is. So now it's a $1,221 MacBook, 68 cents, times 0.2. Uh, oh, dang it. Point times 0.2. So we're going to take that number times 0.02. That's... Twenty-four point four three two. All right. Okay. Twenty-four point four three. Okay. So now, so that's at the end of the month. They're going to charge you that. So now, what is it? May first. Now, what is your total on that credit card? Um, so May first. You add that number plus this number. You add these two together. That gives you your total. What the what the bill is going to be? This is what they send you by state. I'll be. One thousand four hundred forty-six point one one. Point one one. Okay. So now you're there. What's my minimum payment? Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. So, so the minimum payment's not going to change at all. It's going to stay eighty-eight. So you know this number going down. Right. But what's my new balance? This is the total. We have to make our eighty-eight dollar payment. What do you? What, what are we sitting at now? One thousand one hundred fifty-eight dollars and eleven cents. Fifty-eight dollars a month in cents. Yep. Okay. Where does that number go? To the next one. Over here. You see what we're doing now? Yeah. Your goal is to figure out when you're going to be done paying that credit card off. Oh gosh. It's going to take you a while. That's why this is New Friday. Oh good. <coughs> this That's Friday. your homework. That's your homework. Oh. Okay. Well, at least we got two lines done. You got two lines done. I, I will provide you the grid paper that has all the lines. Okay. So that will all already be printed. For you, right there, what you're looking at. Okay, so I'll give you that here in a minute. You'll have enough lines; it should be fine. I don't. I, you might have extra lines. That's fine because I don't want to tell you how many lines it's going to take you. So this was March. Right, this was March. This was now April. This was now May. Your goal is to figure out when you're going to pay that thing off. So this this is going to teach you real life situations. Why you don't use that by MacBook and you can't pay it off? <laughs> it's going to take a long time. Only all night. Okay. No, so, it's, it's going to take a while. All right, here's your homework today. I'm going to give you a couple of those where I give you a simple interest promise. Work on those first. Those simple ones we did in the beginning. Right? Well, I thought you said that this one, one is going to be, this is going to be your second part of it. You only have one of those. That's your compound. Yeah. So, whatever this number is, you take times 0.2, write that number down, you add it in. Make your payment, carry that number down. Now we'll provide you a group that has that on. Okay, but here's your book then for the simple interest. I'll put it on the board right here. It is page 162.
1 through 4, 8 through 11, and then this extra problem that you have, this one. I will leave that on the board, but I will provide you that scratch paper that has all those numbers right. on. Um, this section, this problem there. That's A. It's the only one on the page. Trust me, you're not going to miss it. It's the only one on that page. So there you go. First time is yours. I'm going to leave that up there. I'm going to provide you that grid paper. Thank mm -hmm. you. 